All right. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's time for another project as well. Uh, ooh, square body. Oh, when did those become worth like $5,000? No engine. Uh, some rust. Uh, okay, next. Hey, how about a diesel? We haven't done one of those. $10,000, 500,000 miles. Don't bother asking, I know what I got. Okay, skip that. But we filter for, what's the, what's the cheapest Mercedes on the internet right now? Let's try that. Oh, what do we got here? Uh, yep. 79 Benz. Oh, this looks promising. Silver convertible, red interior, aftermarket stereo. Car has been stored for nine years in a garage. It has a slight radiator leak at the top end, a slight dent on the passenger side door. The car will need to be towed. So abandoned in a garage, possibly. Oh, looks okay. Looks really good. Oh, I wonder if these are pictures from nine years ago. What could it hurt? Let's see if it's available. Oh. Yes, it's available. The red leak is minor, but requires a better torch than I possess. I would guess that silver solder would work. We got that. A fuel system flush would be a necessity. Not sure of the battery condition. Those are cheap. <laughs> uh, detailing would be pretty much a given. We've done that, haven't we? Here is a photo of the minor dent on the passenger side door. <clears throat> minor. Well, what would you guys do? I know what the sensible thing to do is, but what would any of you guys do? Morning guys, it's uh, real early in the morning here. The stars are still out. It's, it's about four in the morning. Uh, Matt just arrived here. We're just packing up some essentials. We've got the car trailer hitched up to the Hemi. And uh, yeah, we've got a little over, or a little under 800 kilometers to go here to go pick up this car. So probably eight or nine hours drive ahead of us. So we're <laughs> gonna, we're gonna get going here and we'll catch up with you guys on the way. Ciao. Well, it's 556 we're an hour into our drive sun's just coming up stop to get some drinks and snacks and we're carrying on also there's a murder in the parking lot <laughs> <laughs> all right let's hit the road
Clear, eh? It, it'll clear it's pretty low. Look at the compared to here. Yeah, it'll be okay. It'll be okay, okay. I think. We got two more feet, anyways, before we have to decide. Yeah. Hmm? I could put some air in this tire and get it a little higher. This will be okay. I just want to hook this up to the hook in case. Just in case. Too bad it couldn't pull it. Sweet sideways, not quite enough jamming. Want to try it while you're there on the corner? Just slip the rope right over the corner and see if it'll. I doubt it will. But... Like directly this way or yeah. straight over? Ready? Well, will yeah. it go straight over? What if you see that? all burn out here. Makes it move. So I'm a half a board now, maybe. Yeah. Really? We're yeah. Try no. okay. it. <laughs> If we pull it back the rest of these yeah. three feet with the stream, we'll crank the other way. It's just swing the front around and then we'll be good, I think, eh?
we got the car home late last night around 2 a.m. So we waited until this morning to unload. Matt's just giving the uh, underside a quick uh, pressure wash while it's up in the air because it's way easier to get in there now. Once, once it's on the ground, it's not quite as easy, but it's actually pretty easy. It's all the tape underneath. Uh, the uh, previous owner had it stored in a garage um, and he had a oh let's just say a bit of a mouse problem so every every surface on this car smells like mouse pee and uh, I'll show you guys after we get off the trailer there was a giant mouse condominium under the hood and they were definitely hanging out partying in there because it's it's the where you can smell it from here just about especially on a warm day like this so we're gonna give it a quick Close down on the bottom, get it off, um, degrease and sanitize under the hood and spray that all out before we start working on this thing so we don't uh, contract some strange rare diseases. Uh, and then after that we're going to give the outside a quick wash and then we'll shampoo the inside because they got in there a little bit. You can see some evidence on the rugs. Uh, so yeah, step one, clean and sanitize before we do any real work on it. We'll check back with you guys in a bit. All right, we discovered that the uh, mouse infestation was all the way under the seats, so we decided to just take the seats out as well. So Matt's finishing taking the driver's seat out, skip the passenger seat out, and uh, then we can properly shampoo the carpet. And uh, so I just wet it down the engine bay. I'm gonna throw some engine cleaner on here and. Let it soak for a while and then give this a quick pressure wash and see what we're left with. Uh, I'll come back after this is soaked for a bit and show you guys the, hopefully the better after pictures. Thanks. this out guys nice and brown so if you don't have one of these drill mounted brushes Definitely get one. They usually come in a set of different uh, different flavors, and they're uh, they work great for just agitating carpets or really anything. And then you can it loosens it up nice, so you can uh, get rid of the uh, hard kicked on dirt. <clears throat> These ones are already roughed up and soaking, and that's just uh, washing the soap out of these ones. And then we're gonna vacuum them up up with a shampooer. To get the rest of the water out, but these ones are coming out pretty nice. Compared to how they looked before, it's uh, quite a different. This is what the inside looks like now without the carpets in here. We're still going to have to shampoo the uh, carpet along the tunnel and the sides. 
uh, in the back wall there, in the back, of course. But for that, we're just going to use the shampooer so we don't get too much water on the inside of the car. Maybe disrupt the, uh, the glue, so... Yeah, coming along good. Okay, so we uh, used the drill-mounted brush to agitate these with some soap. And I'm going to just use the uh, little carpet machine to suck the rest of this water out. And I'll show you guys the water after. It's pretty disgusting. <laughs> That is some uh, pretty gross chocolate milk looking water right there. <clears throat> and this, I don't know if you noticed, was just from that one carpet. So we're probably going to go over these one more time before we dry them. And we're going to lay something on top of them so they dry flat, try to get rid of the curling in them. But, but yeah, a million times better and they don't smell like mouse pee anymore. Well, round one goes to us. I think. Uh, the mouse lost this round. We got most of the grease gone under here. All the mouse houses are gone. So it's clean enough to work on, at least. The uh, interior cleaned up pretty good. We just did a real quick detail, or not even a detail, a, a wash. Um, we got more to do, obviously, but at least we got the seats out and the, uh, the undercoating of the rugs off. Uh, the carpet's been cleaned. It turned out not bad, actually. The interior's cleaned. It's still a little dark and patchy looking because everything's still wet, still drying. But uh, yeah, even on the outside, it's even uh, it was just a wash. She, she cleaned up fairly decently. So yeah, Matt's gonna work on the other two seats over the next little bit. Um, I'm actually going away for a few days, but uh, when we get back, we're gonna see if we can tackle the fuel system and. Make it bark, right Matt? Catch you guys next time.